hi guys welcome back to my channel survey world by Tessie Chukujeku so today I'll be teaching you how to plot your road cross section using auto lips command in some videos back I taught you how to plot your longitudinal profile using auto lips but in this very one in this cross section plotting we're also going to use auto lips but a different auto lips command so for this cross section we're going to use a uh, cross section auto lips okay here it is x section this is it so i will drop the link for its download in in the description box okay so to plot your cross section you use this very auto lips command or auto lips application also you need your autocad software it could be civil 3d it could be autocad land development it could be your normal autocad and any version can do this as far as you have your auto lips application and also you need your file in a in excel an excel file but in csv format you have to save your file your data in csv format okay so now for this very tutorial this is the file i'm using you can see i have three columns here the first column which is column a is the offset okay this is the offset and the column b is the elevation then column c is a change okay so this offset simply means offset from the center line okay the center line this the offset distances from the center line you can see negative values here you have minus 3 minus 1.6 this simply means that these values are in the negative axis okay you know that we have four axes we have positive y and negative y and positive x and negative x okay so this negative simply means that these values are on the negative axis okay the positive one simply means that on the positive axis then here that you're seeing the zero zero is for the center line of the road okay and these are your changes so now let's get into it but before we get into it please try and subscribe if you have not subscribed if you're just coming across my video my channel please and please subscribe to my channel like the videos and click on the notification bell so that as soon as i drop new video you will be notified okay let's get into it before you plot your cross section please make sure that your settings are in place i've thought how to carry out all these preliminary settings in a video in my channel maybe i will drop down the link in the comment section in the description box sorry i will drop the link to that video on how to carry out your settings make sure that every your settings are in meters the precision and set the not you choose not as a direction you set your coordinate system and that will according to the location where you observed your data okay so for me i've done those settings already so to get on with this tutorial you go to menu bar click on tools scroll down to auto lips okay click on load application and now remember we have the auto lips command for this tutorial on the desktop so i'll just go to desktop yours could be anywhere wherever yours is you navigate to that place and select it to load okay we are we have it on the desktop so we scroll down yes here it is x section you click on it and then click on load now you can see that it says x section dot l i s p successfully loaded now what you do is you click on close now you can see what it's saying starts with command name cs you can see that this is very interactive okay so you just click on ok and then you type cs as it directed you to once you type cs you press enter so now it says enter horizontal scale okay 
so what you do is you enter a scale here let's say we enter 200 enter as a scale 200 enter as a scale now you load or select the csv file so let's go to the desktop select it and click on open now it says click on where you want this to be drawn okay i'll just click here so you can see it's drawing this cross section so it's automatic and it's very simple just make sure you have all your data in the right arrangement and it will just plot it out for you okay see it is coming up okay it's coming up it's coming up so now the plotting is done so let's zoom into it okay so this is it using 200 scale you can see it this is the middle the center line and these are the offsets this line is for offset of 9.5 okay here you can see the different the two offsets and coming to this this is the center line these these are the offsets from the center line okay and these are the offset distances this is the elevation for each of the lines now you can see at chain age 25 meters okay this one is for chain age 25 meters and this is for zero that's zero plus zero zero okay and this is for zero plus zero two five and this is for zero plus zero five zero meters chain age okay so these are the offset distances and these are the elevation data okay you can see here here it's it says offsets in meters this you can edit you can edit this offsets in meters okay and this one is elevation elevation in meters and this one is datum above mean sea level okay which is 90 meters above mean sea level so this is it guys all you have to do now from here is just to put things in order like this offset in meters is for this column you just edit it change to change the up the font to the type of font you want you can use area you can use vandana you can use times new roman okay and you do the same for this too you do the same for uh, any of these data okay the elevation the offset distance you can change them to the font type you like and then you do proper editing so this is it guys you can see see the cross section plotting you can see the red line so this is the way the profile of the the very road we plotted okay so this is it guys if you have any questions for me drop them in the comment section if you have contributions recommendations or video tutorial requests you can also drop them down in the comment section and i promise i will respond asap okay see you guys next time in my next video please subscribe see you next time bye